Hey everyone, good morning. I hope you all are doing well. This is Tito here coming at you with another video. I didn't think I'd be posting uh, quite as this soon. Uh, I posted a few yesterday, and uh, but I had no choice. There's a, a package, some packages arrived uh, this morning on my way out to take the dogs for a walk. And I suspect they are Beanie Babies. They are either ones I had sent out for authentication or they're ones that I uh, had acquired the last couple weeks for the lot that I'll be putting up for auction in a few weeks. Uh, anyways, uh, I'll see you all on the other side of this clip here. I'm gonna finish up walking the dogs. They're really happy. There they are. And uh, yeah, hope you all are doing well and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right. Hey, welcome back. This is part two of today's vlog on Beanie Babies. And I unboxed the four packages I received this morning. They did indeed contain Beanie Babies. And I'll show and talk about each one very quickly. So I'll bring some facts about their release date and talk about their tags and generations. But I do have some rare ones here and they were really cool to look at and unbox. So here's a quick shot of me unboxing them because it did take a little while and uh, recycling and saving all the packaging. Uh, here it is. We'll try that. And uh, here are the Beanie Babies. Well, here's Spooky. I'm gonna talk just briefly about him. He was released in September 1st, 1995. He was retired December 31st, 1997. He stands eight and a quarter inches tall. He is released in two generations, so third generation and a fourth generation before he was retired. And this is the third generation tag there. His tush tags came in five generations, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Uh, this one has a first generation tush tag. Some known uh, things about Spooky, the mouth can sometimes vary. This is a U-shaped mouth and he's got a felt tongue and it's securely on there. And the later version, not this version, but the next version over which looks like this, has a tag like that. It reads a poem. Ghosts can be a scary sight, but don't let Spooky bring you any fright, because when you're alone, you will see the best friend that Spooky can be. Inside Spooky's tag, it says, designed by Jenna Boldbook, which will make it somewhat more desirable for collectors. Spooky is spelled correct, so it doesn't have a name misspelling, which can occur on some beanies that saying, Spooky was incorrectly named Spook on the third generation swing tags. The mistake was corrected October 1995. So it's safe to assume this one was released after October 1995, because it's correctly spelled. All right, on to the next one. We're here with Webb, first generation Beanie Baby. Webb was introduced June 25th, 1994. He was retired January 7th, 1996. And he does not have a birthday. So he was not assigned a birthday. He's nine and a half inches in length and comes in three generation versions the first second and third with only a first generation tush tag and this is the first generation hang tag Webb 
there are, it's noted here online that Webb has, or there have been quite a few counterfeit Webs found on the market, making it all the more important to have this one authenticated. Get this here. So this is an official web. It says to look closely at the swing tags or hang tags, but this one is 100% genuine and there is a small crease. You can see that. A rare beanie baby for sure. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we're back with Allie the alligator, and a second generation hang tag. Allie was introduced June 25th, 1994. Her birthday is March 14th, 1994. And her retirement date is October 1st, 1997. Uh, the birthday is something that Ty just included as just a unique little personal item for, for the Beanie Baby. It doesn't necessarily mean that's when it will be retired or when it was released, but it's a, a name that's attributed to each individual Beanie Baby. Allie came in four different hang tag, swing tag generations. First, second, third, and fourth. This is a second generation alley with a first generation tush tag. Alley does not have a poem in the second generation version. But in later versions, generations, let's see, probably the fourth generation of Ali contained a poem. When Ali gets out of classes, he wears a hat and dark glasses. He plays bass in a street band, and he's the coolest gator in the land. Pretty hip Ali. All right, that's that one. Now we have Squealer. Squealer the pig. Squealer was introduced January 8th, 1994 and retired May 1st, 1998. His birthday was April 23rd, 1993 and that's a date that was just assigned to him. Squealer exists in five different hang tag generations first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Squealer has six different generations of tush tags. This one here is a third generation hang tag and a second generation tush tag. Kind of see that there. Squealer has a poem inside of its tag. And I'm actually not sure if this one contains a poem. I'll, I can find out later if third generation Squealers have poems, but certainly the fourth and fifth generations will. And the poem that goes, Squealer likes to joke around. He is known as a class clown. Listen to his stories a while. There is no doubt he'll make you smile. All right, and that's it for the four Beanie Babies that arrived today. All right, well, that's it for today's yeah. vlog. Uh, once again, I appreciate you checking this out. And we looked at four Beanie Babies today, rare Beanie Babies. Uh, it was pretty cool to see this mini haul. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos, and take care.